Hey guys, this is Tom, and this is going to be my first uh, standard video. Um, the deck I'll be using tonight in a uh, daily um, four-round event is going to be my Pure Steel deck that I've been working on. I uh, recently made a change, um, actually, uh, that um, Jerry Thompson came up with, um, which was adding Grim Lava Mancer to the Pure Steel shell, which I believe will make it quite a bit of a stronger deck. Um, already did a few daily events. So far I've gone 4-0, 3-1, and 3-1 respectively. So it seems to be working. Um, hopefully we'll do great again tonight, but this is the deck list that I'll be running tonight. And round one should be starting um, any minute here. Okay, here we are in round one. Um, this hand looks pretty good, so we're going to keep. Looks like we're going to be facing off against Hogwarts. This deck has a pretty good matchup against Cobblade, I've found so far. Um, as of the last three events, so far it's 6 0 against Cobblade. Uh, we will see. We may even be playing against the uh, mirror here. I guess I'm pretty surprised to see more than one Pure back in any given tournament. So we're going to go ahead and get the uh, Squadron Hawk plan going. And we'll see how this turns out. Now the version that I'm running is running um, Ponder over Preordain. Uh, I had been running uh, Preordain before, but I found that Ponder is actually a little better. Uh, still kind of testing it out, but uh, I have about 16 shuffle effects in the deck, so I feel that Ponder is going to be a little bit stronger for us. This deck doesn't really run any counter magic, so I could just run the sword out here. Um, and I, thinking about it, but um, you know, it's possible he could just play a mortar pod, kill my guy. Um, what I think I'm going to do instead is going to go ahead and ponder and then put out a spell skype. <laughs> Okay, so we've got some good stuff coming. Um, it looks like we're going to want to get uh, Hero Online here fairly shortly. Um, Kemba can probably wait a little bit later. Now, Kemba is a one of, um, but it's been very good to me over the course of the uh, last few tournaments. It is possible he's running with counter magic, although I would be surprised to see it. This could also be the Grimblade deck, which is essentially the Cobblade shell. Four Grim Lava Mancers and the Basilisk Collar. I believe it runs one, maybe two Trinket Mages to suit for them. Um, so at this point, we're probably just going to run out Hero. There's no reason to really do anything else here. Uh, if he has the Mortar Pod, um, which I don't believe he's running, then uh, we're going to be in trouble. But I believe, like I said, this is Grimblade instead. Uh, 
metamorph. I'm surprised to see that also. Um, so at this point, um, the play is pretty much to play sword and equip. Now we can play the Mortipod and then equip it to the soldier and actually kill his hero. Leaving the blue up to uh, feign uh, Spell Pierce even though we don't play it. Not a lot he can do at this point to get back in the game. However, if he's Deceiver Exarch, um, could be an issue. Did not expect to see that in this deck. <laughs> Hopefully he stalls on land and doesn't get the twin, um, however, we're just going to go ahead and, um, let's see, let's, um, don't really care about the extra guy we'll get from Kemba, so let's go ahead and just drop some hawks. <laughs> So if he just equips Collar and passes, uh, we can just go in for lethal next turn anyways. But um, not really sure what his play is here. He could have another Exarch and then uh, play the game in combat to lock down Hero, but we're just going to use Sword and Fire for that anyways. So moving the sword definitely was a good thing.
this point, we probably just um, play Hawk, equip Mortipod, and pass. Put the Mortipod on the hero just in case he tries to kill it. <laughs> We could have left two mana open to feign a mana leak if he drew the red, um, but I think that he's in a position where he has to go for it anyways, so there's really no point in doing that. Okay, so against Grimblade Twin, um, definitely bring in Combust. We want Flash Freeze, um, Oblivion Ring, probably the second Collar just to be safe, uh, Spell Skite, most likely bringing in Mana Leak, potentially Revoke Existence. Uh, let's see, against them, I think we're going to go ahead and... Hmm. Don't need the flare husks. Um, if he is playing one of the planeswalkers that would like access to Parasite, I think we can cut Life Staff. I think all the swords will still be relevant. I am kind of tempted just to cut Ponder here, um, just because everything else that we um, have to do is pretty much all the other cards that are here we're going to be wanting to play anyways. Um, we still want to keep the Hawks in um, just to have Hawk advantage. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to cut the Ponders. And I think let's see I don't want the mana leaks, but not really sure what to cut here. I think we're just going to leave it like this and see how it goes. And just to be honest, I'm not exactly sure what permutation of this deck he's actually playing with, so just a little bit in the dark on it. Hand looks fine. We want to get that uh, spell scout online as soon as possible. to play the collar right away. Uh, he could have revoke existence or other things like that, and we can always play it later. Uh, want to get the last out. Make sure we find our mountain. Um, at this point, put him on mana leak, so we probably... Um, yeah, we probably just run out the spell skate here. This way, if he mana leaks spell skate, we're going to have Grimlock Lancer 